Have you ever felt like someone was influencing your decisions more than you're comfortable with? Today, the ungrateful seven types of people you should avoid even if it's your family or close friend. Let's go. Understanding and steering clear of the ungrateful can significantly enhance your life, drawing from Stoic philosophy. This ancient wisdom teaches us to focus on what we can control and to foster gratitude for what we have, rather than lamenting what we lack. The ungrateful person, always dissatisfied, fails to appreciate the beauty of the present moment and the bounty life offers, which leads to a perpetual state of discontent and misery. Interacting with ungrateful individuals can drain your energy and detract from your own sense of appreciation and happiness. These people often overlook the good in their lives, focusing instead on shortcomings and misfortunes, which can be contagious. If you find yourself constantly surrounded by ungratefulness, it might begin to taint your perspective, leading you away from the stoic path of gratitude and acceptance. Incorporating stoic philosophy into your daily life involves recognizing what is within your control and what is not. You cannot control others' attitudes, but you can control your own. Therefore, limiting your exposure to those who habitually see the glass as half empty can help maintain your equilibrium and sense of gratitude. Instead, seek out the company of those who appreciate life's gifts, however small. This doesn't mean cutting off all ties immediately, especially if they are close friends or family, but rather gently distancing yourself or setting healthy boundaries. Applying this approach can profoundly improve your life. By choosing your company wisely, you foster an environment conducive to growth, positivity, and well-being. This alignment with Stoic values doesn't just elevate your mood, it can also lead to deeper relationships founded on mutual respect and appreciation rather than on negativity and complaint. To start applying these principles, begin each day by reflecting on what you're grateful for. This could be as simple as a sunny morning, a good cup of coffee, or the love of a pet. This practice helps anchor you in the positive aspects of your life, making it less likely that you'll be dragged down by others' discontent. When you encounter ungrateful behavior, remind yourself that everyone's at a different point in their journey and their negativity need not affect your own state of mind. Respond with kindness and understanding, but maintain your boundaries. Remember, being around grateful people can uplift and inspire you. Their appreciation for life's gifts can encourage you to adopt a similar outlook, which aligns with Stoic teachings. Gratitude leads to a more fulfilling, peaceful, and contented life, as it helps you see the abundance that already exists in your world. By practicing gratitude and choosing your social circle wisely, you're not just avoiding the negative influence of the ungrateful, you're also cultivating a life of contentment, resilience, and joy true to the spirit of Stoicism. The Pessimist In the realm of Stoic philosophy, the perspective we adopt towards life's events can dramatically influence our well-being. The Pessimist, someone who consistently sees the negative side of things, can create an environment filled with stress, discouragement, and missed opportunities. If you've ever found yourself or noticed someone close dwelling excessively on the negatives, here's a friendly guide on how to shift away from this mindset, inspired by stoic principles, and how this change can profoundly improve your life. The Stoics teach us that while we cannot control the external events that happen to us, we can control our reactions to them. This is where the transformation from pessimism to a more positive outlook begins. Imagine you're facing a challenging situation. A pessimist might think, this is terrible, it's all going to go wrong. But adopting a stoic approach, you'd ask yourself, what is within my control? You'll find that while the situation itself might not be controllable, your attitude towards it is. By focusing on what you can influence, your thoughts and actions, you begin to see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Moreover, pessimism can blind us to the good in our lives and the potential for future success. The Stoics practiced gratitude as a remedy to this. Every day, try to identify and appreciate three things in your life. This could be as simple as enjoying a quiet morning, having a supportive friend, or the mere fact of being alive and healthy. This practice shifts your focus from what's going wrong to what's going right. 
fostering a sense of contentment and reducing unnecessary worries about things beyond your control. Additionally, Stoicism encourages us to view obstacles as tests of our character and resilience. Instead of lamenting misfortunes, view them as chances to practice virtues like patience, courage, and perseverance. When you start seeing life's hurdles as opportunities to strengthen your character, you'll find yourself more capable and less inclined to pessimism. This shift doesn't mean ignoring reality or pretending everything is perfect, but rather recognizing your power to endure and grow from hardships. Let's also talk about the company we keep. Stoics understood the influence of our surroundings on our mindset. If you're constantly around pessimists, you might find their outlook rubbing off on you. Try to spend more time with positive, constructive people. Their resilience and optimistic approach to life's challenges can inspire you and help reinforce your new stoic habits. Lastly, remember that change doesn't happen overnight. It takes consistent practice to shift from a pessimistic to a more optimistic and stoic mindset. Be patient and kind to yourself as you make this transition. Celebrate small victories and forgive yourself for setbacks. Over time, you'll notice a significant improvement in your mental well-being and your life's overall quality. By adopting these stoic practices, you're not just avoiding the trap of pessimism, you're also setting yourself up for a more fulfilling, peaceful life. You're learning to see the silver lining, to appreciate what you have, and to face life's uncertainties with courage and composure. This isn't just about self-improvement, it's about transforming your experience of the world, making it a brighter, more positive place. So, my friend, embrace these changes and watch as your world transforms alongside your new perspective. The Hedonist Imagine walking through life with a heavy backpack filled not with essentials, but with things you rarely use or need. This backpack represents the hedonistic approach to life, where immediate pleasures and gratification are prioritized over long-term well-being and inner peace. Stoic philosophy teaches us to lighten this load by focusing on what truly matters, our character, our responses to life's challenges, and our commitment to personal growth and community well-being. Hedonism, the pursuit of pleasure as the highest good, can lead us down a path cluttered with short-lived joys and superficial successes. It's like indulging in a sweet treat that tastes good for a moment, but leaves you feeling unsatisfied or even ill afterward. Stoicism offers a different path, one where contentment and happiness are found not in external things, but in our own internal state and virtuous actions. Now, let's apply this to everyday life. When faced with a choice, instead of asking, will this bring me immediate pleasure, consider, will this contribute to my long-term well-being and personal growth? This shift in perspective can transform your decision-making process, for example. Instead of spending an evening binge-watching a show, you might choose to read a book that enriches your mind or have a meaningful conversation with a friend. Embracing a stoic approach doesn't mean abandoning all pleasures. Instead, it encourages enjoying life's simple joys mindfully and in moderation, recognizing that true happiness comes from a sense of inner peace and fulfillment. It's about finding balance, where pleasures serve as a complement to a life lived with purpose and integrity, not as the main goal. By gradually shifting your focus from seeking external validation and ephemeral joys to developing self-discipline, resilience, and compassion, you'll start to notice a profound change in your life. Relationships become more meaningful when they're based on genuine connections rather than superficial interactions. Work and activities feel more rewarding when they align with your values and contribute to your personal growth. This stoic approach can also help you deal with life's inevitable challenges. Instead of feeling overwhelmed by difficulties, you'll learn to view them as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. This doesn't mean ignoring your emotions or dennying pain. Rather, it involves acknowledging your feelings while choosing to respond with strength, courage, and wisdom. As you adopt this mindset, you'll find that your life becomes more fulfilling and less dictated by the whims of external circumstances. You'll build a strong foundation of inner contentment and resilience, capable of weathering life's storms. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate pleasure from your life, but to ensure that your pursuit of pleasure doesn't derail you from the path of true happiness and personal fulfillment. Think of me as a friend walking beside you on this journey. 
encouraging you to consider what really matters and to choose the path that leads to long-term fulfillment. Let's embrace the wisdom of Stoicism together, lightening our load of unnecessary desires and focusing on what truly enriches our lives. By doing so, we can find lasting happiness and peace, not just fleeting moments of pleasure. The Gossip In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of daily life and, without realizing, find ourselves amidst conversations or groups that don't serve our highest good. One such situation is when we encounter gossip. The Stoic philosophy, deeply rooted in wisdom, offers invaluable insights into why we should steer clear from engaging in or being around gossip and how this can profoundly impact our lives for the better. Let's dive into this with understanding and compassion, keeping in mind that everyone, including ourselves, might have felt at this at one point or another. Gossip in its essence is the sharing of personnel, sensitive, or sensational information about others without their consent. It's a form of communication that not only harms the subject of the gossip, but also diminishes the integrity of those who participate in it. Now, from a stoic standpoint, engaging in gossip is counterproductive to personal growth and inner peace. The stoics taught us to focus on what is within our control and to let go of what is not. Gossip, fundamentally, concerns itself with the actions, decisions, or lives of others, elements beyond our control. By engaging in it, we waste precious energy and time, resources that could be better spent on our own self-improvement and on actions that align with our core values and virtues. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us the value of empathy and understanding, reminding us that everyone, including the person being gossiped about, is fighting their own battles, many of which we know nothing about. Engaging in gossip shows a lack of empathy and fails to contribute anything positive to the world. Instead, it fosters a culture of mistrust and negativity, which is in direct opposition to the stoic pursuit of tranquility and virtue. So, how can we apply these stoic principles to avoid gossip and improve our lives? First and foremost, it starts with self-awareness. Be mindful of your conversations and the information you share. Ask yourself, is this information true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? If the answer is no, it's probably best left unsaid. Remember, our words have power. They can uplift or they can wound. When confronted with gossip, gently steer the conversation to more positive or productive topics. This not only protects you from the negative effects of gossip, but also sets a positive example for others. By doing so, you create a ripple effect, encouraging a more empathetic and constructive communication style in your circle. Furthermore, focus on building genuine connections based on shared interests, support, and positive interaction, rather than on the mutual dislike or judgment of others. This approach not only aligns with Stoic values, but also fosters a healthier, more supportive social environment. Lastly, remember that change starts with you. By choosing not to engage in gossip, you honor your values, cultivate inner peace, and contribute to a kinder, more respectful world. It's a testament to your strength and character, and a step towards a more fulfilling and virtuous life. In embracing these practices, you'll find that not only does your life improve, but you also become a beacon of positivity and integrity in the lives of those around you. It's a journey worth embarking on, one conversation at a time. Remember, in the grand tapestry of life, every word and action counts. Let's make them count for good. The Victim Stoicism teaches us the importance of focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. This principle is particularly relevant when it comes to avoiding the trap of playing the victim, a mindset that can easily ensnare us if we're not careful. You might know someone or find yourself at times stuck in a cycle where everything seems to be someone else's fault or the result of external circumstances. It's a natural defense mechanism, helping us avoid the discomfort of acknowledging our own role in our problems. However, this mindset can keep us stagnant unable to grow or improve our lives in meaningful ways. The victim mentality is a denial of one's own power and responsibility, 
It's a belief that life happens to us rather than understanding we can shape our own lives. In Stoicism, there's a strong emphasis on personal responsibility and the understanding that our reactions to events are within our control, even if the events themselves are not. By adopting this mindset, you acknowledge that while you cannot control everything that happens to you, you can control how you respond to what happens. This is empowering. It means that no matter what life throws your way, you have the inner resources to handle it. To move away from the victim mentality, start by observing your thoughts and language. Notice when you're blaming external factors for your unhappiness or failures. Each time you catch yourself doing this, pause and reflect. Ask yourself, what part did I play in this situation? How could I have responded differently? This isn't about self-blame, but about recognizing your own agency. Next, begin to cultivate gratitude. Focusing on what you're thankful for shifts your mindset from one of lack and blame to one of abundance and appreciation. This can be as simple as writing down three things you're grateful for each day. Over time, this practice can significantly change your perspective, helping you see the positives in your life rather than fixating on the negatives. Additionally, engage in problem solving rather than problem dwelling. Instead of ruminating on what went wrong and who's to blame, focus on finding solutions. Ask yourself, what can I do right now to improve this situation? This proactive approach not only helps you move out of the victim mentality, but also leads to more effective coping strategies and a sense of empowerment. Remember, embracing stoicism doesn't mean suppressing your emotions or denying the challenges you face. It's about acknowledging your feelings while also recognizing that you have the power to choose your response. This doesn't happen overnight. It's a practice, something you get better at with time and effort. By shifting away from the victim mentality, you open up a world of possibilities. You move from passivity to action, from blame to accountability, and from resentment to contentment. This shift can improve not only your own life, but also your relationships with others as you become more resilient, more understanding, and less likely to lash out in frustration. It's a journey worth taking, filled with growth, learning, and a deeper sense of peace. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. We're all works in progress, doing our best to navigate the complexities of life. By adopting a stoic mindset, you're choosing a path of empowerment and personal growth. The Arrogant in the journey of life, it's natural for us to encounter a wide array of personalities. Among them, the arrogant type often emerges as a significant challenge, not just in our external world, but also within ourselves. Based on Stoic philosophy, let's navigate through understanding and responding to arrogance in a way that enriches our lives and fosters personal growth. Firstly, it's crucial to recognize that arrogance is often a mask for insecurity. Individuals who appear overly confident, dismissive, or belittling usually harbor deep-seated fears about their own worth and capabilities. Stoicism teaches us to approach such individuals with compassion rather than disdain. It encourages us to look beyond the surface and understand the vulnerabilities that lead to such behavior. By fostering this understanding, we not only disarm their negative impact on us, but also open a pathway to genuine communication and possibly help them see their own worth in a more balanced light. Moreover, encountering arrogance provides a valuable opportunity for self-reflection. Ask yourself, are there areas in my life where I might unknowingly exhibit arrogance? Stoicism reminds us that we are all works in progress and that humility is a virtue. Use this as a chance to evaluate your own actions and thoughts. Practicing humility doesn't mean undervaluing yourself. Rather, it's acknowledging that there's always room for growth and learning. This introspection can lead to a more fulfilling and balanced life, enhancing your relationships and self-esteem. Stoicism also teaches the importance of controlling our reactions. When faced with arrogance, it's easy to react with anger or defensiveness. However, remember that we have the power to choose our responses. Visualize yourself as a rock against which waves crash. While the rock is impacted, it remains unmoved. By staying calm and composed, you demonstrate strength and self-control, traits that are central to Stoic philosophy. This approach not only preserves your peace, 
but can also subtly influence the behavior of the arrogant person as they're confronted with a calm and composed demeanor rather than the expected reactive hostility. Furthermore, use this challenge as a stepping stone for personal development. The Stoics believed in the concept of amor fati, or love of fate. Embrace the challenge posed by an arrogant individual as an opportunity to practice patience, empathy, and resilience. Each interaction is a chance to reinforce these values, contributing to your growth and contentment. Finally, while engaging with arrogance, protect your inner peace and values. Set boundaries if necessary, but do so with kindness and respect. Remember, your goal is not to change the other person that's beyond your control, but to maintain your composure and integrity. Incorporating these stoic principles into your life can transform the way you perceive and interact with arrogance, both in others and yourself. It leads to a more harmonious existence, filled with understanding, growth, and inner peace. Remember, life is a continuous journey of learning and self-improvement. Embrace each moment with an open heart and a clear mind, and let Stoicism guide you through the complexities of human behavior and emotions. Your path is yours to shape. Let it be one of kindness, strength, and wisdom. The Manipulator In the realm of Stoic philosophy, there's a strong emphasis on personal autonomy and integrity. When it comes to dealing with manipulators, it's crucial to understand their impact on our lives and well-being. Manipulators, in essence, seek to influence others for their own gain, often at the expense of the other's emotions, needs, and desires. This can severely disrupt your inner peace and your journey toward a stoic way of living. Firstly, recognize the signs of manipulation, excessive flattery, guilt tripping, gaslighting, or playing the victim. Stoicism teaches us the importance of self-awareness and understanding our emotions. By staying vigilant and introspective, you can start to notice when someone is trying to sway you against your will or better judgment. Remember, it's okay to question the intentions behind others' actions, especially if they make you feel uncomfortable or doubtful. Once you identify manipulative behavior, it's important to maintain your composure and respond with rationality and calmness. Stoicism doesn't advocate for impulsive reactions. Instead, it suggests we should respond to life's challenges with reason and logic. If you find yourself targeted by a manipulator, take a moment to step back and assess the situation from a neutral standpoint. Ask yourself, is this request fair? Is this person respecting my boundaries? By detaching yourself emotionally, you can see the situation more clearly and make decisions that are in your best interest. Setting boundaries is another Stoic practice that can help shield you from manipulation. Stoics believe in controlling what's within our power and letting go of what isn't. You can't change others' behavior, but you can decide how much you'll tolerate and what your limits are. Communicate your boundaries clearly and consistently. If someone repeatedly disrespects your boundaries, it might be time to reevaluate their place in your life. Remember, it's not selfish to prioritize your mental peace and dignity. It's necessary for your well-being and growth. Additionally, Stoicism teaches the value of independence and self-reliance. The less you depend on others for your happiness and validation, the less power they have to manipulate you. Work on building your self-esteem and finding fulfillment from within. Engage in activities that enrich your soul and bring you genuine joy. By cultivating your own garden, so to speak, you become more resilient to others' attempts to control or demean you. Lastly, remember that everyone's journey is different, and it's okay to seek help when dealing with manipulative individuals. Stoicism doesn't mean going through life alone. It means knowing when to ask for guidance and support. Surround yourself with positive, like-minded individuals who respect you and your boundaries. There's strength in community and in shared experiences. By applying these stoic principles, you can protect yourself from manipulation and lead a more authentic, peaceful life. It's about taking control where you can, accepting what you can't, and having the wisdom to know the difference. Embrace the path of self-improvement with kindness and patience. Your journey is uniquely yours, and every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. Remember, my friend, 
You have the strength within you to face any challenge, including freeing yourself from the influence of manipulators.